welcome back to my channel everyone today i'll be showing you how i clean my chicken wings at home if you want to know how to properly clean your wings stay tuned now guys i'm using now roughly about five kilos of wings so i'm doing quite a lot of wings now that little fatty bit on the drum part of the wing mm, i don't like it so i always tend to just cut that bit right off now what I do is I just go over the wing and I look for little hairs or feathers or whatever you call it and I pick them out. Now some of these are quite easy to just pull out with your fingers or what you can do is just get, get yourself some kitchen tweezers or just normal tweezers, regular tweezers, just leave them in the kitchen and just, you know, pull them out. Now also on, along the edges of the wings you'll find these little, you know, little hair things sticking out so i just like to just give it a little pull just to get them out and what i do is i go over to my cooker and i just literally cinch them off now we ain't cooking the wing we just literally just you know from you pass it along that fire they just burn off quite easily see they gone now i'll be dividing these wings in two you don't have to divide your wings but sometimes i do um yep so i just go along find the joint and just literally cut them in two now sometimes in the wing you'll find that in the veins there's like you know little thick clots of blood mm, yep don't like them at all so i just literally use my fingers and push it out or squeeze it out or yeah the whole thing and i just also go over the wing just to double check anything else burn off what needs to be burned off push out what needs to push out and then we get on to the washing, washing stage once you've done that with all your wings yeah i just gather them in a container and i just go through and wash it and as i said before i am lose using a large amount of wings so hence why you see me washing it a few times now if you look at the water here you know what a little bit cloudy and dirty and yeah nobody know i eat that well you know i eat it in my kitchen you know so if you want to eat it then go ahead and eat it so i did go through about three or four times and just wash those babies if you're new to my channel thank you for coming if you haven't yet subscribed we are well on we are we fun hit that button down there so that says subscribe if it's red supposed to be great go on and hit that baby for me now if you're returning thank you so 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 much for your support i really really appreciate it now whilst i'm doing my wing i just actually just go for you know something catch your eye guys listen you ain't gonna catch everything but you know what what i can see i'm gonna take out now once i wash those off a few times with water i'm just gonna go ahead now and use some vinegar and you know a few lemons just squeeze that in mash it up in there rub it up in there and you know the whole shebang and as i said before i'm gonna repeat myself i am using a large amount of wings so i'll be doing things you know look a bit extra than if you're only doing a few wings you only need to you know you don't need to go so much so much so much and i use so much so much and i will take up take up so much time so yes once I go in with the, the vinegar and the lemon, I do again, go back and rinse it another few times. And as you can see now, the difference between the water in the beginning and now, it's clear. Now, once I've washed my wing, I do go in with, a, you know, some napkins to just dry up the tin because now we're going to season it up just to get rid of the excess water and that's gathered in there. Now I'm just gonna season up my wings, lightly season them, just gonna put them in my freezer because then I know that I've got a bunch of wings ready to go. So you know, when you're ready to cook, if you're going to add a little bit more seasoning, you just add a little bit more seasoning. Now I've just gone in with some Maggie chicken seasoning. Cause you know, some I love the Maggie chicken seasoning and I've also used some adobo. Guys, if you want to know what seasoning I use, what seasoning I have on my cupboard, I will link the video right here and I will leave, I'll also link it in the description box. So if you want, you know, go and check that out. Now, once I do this, I just put them in Ziploc bags 
you know ready to be put away now i just thought as well that i'd show you how i clean my sink so first of all i've just gone in with another bit of napkin just to wipe off you know the little bits that i drop off the little waste bit and i do go in with some bleach get my brush and just you know get that bleach all wrong because you know this is why some people don't like to watch it the chicken you know, go on, you know for wash your chicken because it creates all sort of something in the sink so when me don't wash my sink you know me tell you say not no left in there what them say is harmful well i've been doing it for years now and your girl is still here so hello it work once i've gone in with the bleach and wash it out i do boil my kettle and just pour that hot water down then i give it a good rinse and i'm gonna go in now with my antibacterial guys you don't have to clean your sink this way but this is how i do my thing now and it also depends what i have have available because you know so sometimes you know have everything and you just have to you know improvise and use what you have and yeah so once i do that give it another rub then i'm gonna wash it away and etc 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 Just gonna use some liquid soap now and just yeah Just using my cloth now make sure you know you get that you know the little cribbits on the corner the pipe them doing sure nothing is not splashed about and guys this might look excessive but you know we, we just have to do what we have to do now I've just gone in with a little bit more hot water and I'm gonna pour some vinegar in there as well Just wash that away and I always boil my kettle and um, when I'm you know or I use the hot water from the tap but I do use both a boiler kettle okay you know say you know the kettle boil at too much too much too much degrees and yeah so for the final thing all I'm gonna do now is just spray my fabulosa disinfectant and I'm just gonna give that bad boy a wipe and I'm just gonna leave it okay, you know you have to shine on this thing make it look all clean and pretty and ready for start a new project again And that's it guys that's how i clean my chicken wash my chicken season my chicken and clean up the sink after as you see everything sparkling and shiny and just as i said ready for the new project <laughs> guys thank you so 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 much for watching this video don't forget to leave me a comment like this video and as i always say to aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself catch you in the next video bye